Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage as they pass through the valley of Baca. They make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. And that is how the middle section of Psalm 84 reads. And I read that out to the PCC the other night and I felt that in a way it sums up a little bit of sentiment that we have of longing, a sort of pilgrimage, a journeying, a longing to meet together properly to worship God instead of having the YouTube services which I think are so well produced and people have loved it's time to meet together and yet with the restrictions placed on us with distancing uh, meaning only a certain number way 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 below half of what we would normally have being allowed in the church and not being able to hug each other even shake a hand no children's groups no touching of Bibles and we can get around one or two of these things and no singing and having services that what 30 40 minutes at most it's just not really St Simon's so we have asked the bishop for his permission to not meet and that means that we will meet again we will start our services again on the 6th of September we will get going at last and even if the regulations and the restrictions are the same as they are now, we will meet anyway. And we'll work out a way of doing that so that we uh, don't have to turn people away at the door. It may involve ticketing. We'll just need to wait and see what happens nearer the time. But we look forward to that very much. That's what we've decided. And that's the permission that we've had from Bishop Graham Tomlin which is good so we're all walking in the same way and also we'll look into maybe seeing if there's ways that we can meet in smaller groups informally in august uh, and just keep people um, in touch with each other seeing each other which would be great if it's at all possible um, to do and also to say that the jesus changed everything we now don't have to meet in a building in the days of Psalm 84 there was a sense the pilgrimage led up to people meeting in the temple where God himself dwelled and it was it's the case that what Jesus has done has meant that his Holy Spirit is in living in us and we are the um, his temples and uh, we form his body on earth but isn't there such a sense of us longing to be with each other, longing to worship him together? And I think that's what we're going through. And you look at some of these pilgrims who talked about the pools that filled up and the springs that um, filled with rainwater. And the uh, interesting because there's also an allusion to the pools filling up with the tears of the pilgrims who were climbing further and further up the mountains as they waited to get to the temple of God because life's journey was hard and it represented something of hard journeying for them as they prepared to get to that place and they could see the little pools filling up the um, as the story goes of the tears of those who had gone before and there's been a lot of hardship for people in the last few months of pandemic um, there's been a journeying there's it's not just a sense of oh we got through there's actually been a lot of difficulty of people's lives um, and that's aside from the fact that people some people have known people who suffered very greatly from the pandemic the pandemic the coronavirus itself um, or have even known someone who's died there's been much to get through and this is a journey and God is with us and our target is continuing the kingdom living that we have in Jesus as we go through this as we go through times hard and as we go through things to celebrate which we journey through as a church so we continue with that we keep being pilgrims we keep setting our heart our hearts on traveling together sometimes separately as we walk with Jesus to get to the place of all celebrating together.